Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is August 20, August 2nd, 2020 on a Sunday. And this has sort of become a routine this summer to a certain degree. We've done a few readings on Sundays and we're doing another comic book reading. Okay, welcome, welcome everyone. I hope uh, you're excited for this. I am. We actually have six books on for reading, and uh, we were we cut it back down to five, but then we just got this as a comic book haul. What I'll I'll talk about this once people start rolling in, as we wait for notifications to go out uh, to people, uh, for people to come in. Let me tell you who I am. Bureaucracy kills. How are you doing? Peter the Philosopher King. Hello, hello. Hi, Chicho. I am excited to sit back, relax, and listen to some comics. Yeah, me too. I, uh, this is becoming a really good routine. Like, really, on Sundays now, um, because it's gone back to my state of reading comic books to a certain degree, where on weekends I could read a lot of comic books, specifically on Sundays when I was going to school, when I was working, and stuff like this. So we're doing a fair bit of... Uh, notifications have come awesome elder god so we're doing uh so far i think the last four or five readings we've done have been on sundays in the last month and a half so if i can manage it we'll set up our first real schedule uh on a regular basis to say we're going to do comic book readings on sundays i'll try my best okay do I follow any current runs? For sure, bureaucracy kills. I'm 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 collecting them. I'm buying them. They're on my pull list, but I'm not reading them because I'm catching up on a lot of, like I've I just bought a whole bunch of one dollar uh, image comics, uh, reissues, reprints of stuff. So I'm reading through those. I read Saga number one. I'm reading the Fix number one. I read I reread. Um, uh, what did I read? I read like five other ones. Uh, image comics number one just to give myself a feel for it again right hey chicho how are you doing great lasagna how are you doing gang if you want to follow this work i am on patreon i'm just going to go through my little intro uh for people that are going to be watching this in the future and for you guys uh some people that might be popping in patreon.com slash chicho if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so okay i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike we are live streaming this on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat as it's happening, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. Uh, and for those of you guys who are watching on Twitch, thanks for being here. Looking forward to this. Similar to me, uh, Bureaucracy Kill says, I recently bought a pretty complete run of New Mutants and I'm working my way through that. Uh, New Mutants is fantastic. You're talking about the 1990s New Mutants? Uh, a very good run. I haven't read all of them. I've read uh, the first couple of dozen and then I went out and then bought laters and stuff like this. I don't have a complete run, uh, but I have a lot of New Mutants from the 1990s. They're great. Yeah, the 1990s run. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very intelligent. Fantastic. Dark, some of it, right? Quick, Chicho. Hide the Mario comic. <laughs> and by the way, we're going to do a poll to eliminate one of these for this reading and introduce Western Thrills because Elder God, if I recall, on the comic book hall, you said let's include this. So we'll eliminate one of these ones. We'll do a quick poll uh, in about, you know, five minutes or so and then we'll do a poll to find out which comic book we actually want to read is that okay with you guys because i i'll tell you why i want to do this uh because it was hard finding western thrills 33 on some of the comic book databases like my comic shop doesn't have it um comic book plus i couldn't find it um found it on uh comics uh, we linked it up there's a couple of other ones in the chat of the comic book hall right but what i found out was one of the places i uh, i found it said the following it stated that this is the same cover as red warrior number one but that comic book database didn't know if the inside stuff was the same so i figured if we end up doing a reading we'll you know either now or one of the other fives do a reading at least we'll have this recorded 
right in online so anyone that has red warrior number one because i don't have it they can check to see if it's the same material or not because i can't find the pages anywhere <laughs> okay Liz, how are you doing uh hi sorry i asked this last stream had to dash uh so not sure if answered what is the story behind uh the nature it's a nickname lisp uh it's a nickname merging of two different nicknames i had uh since i was like 1980s i guess lark bark how are you doing hello hello good afternoon good afternoon to you guys hi how you doing chicho doing great we're gonna do a comic book reading look at all these lovely comics lovely comics i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gab minds vk lo on parlor okay so if you want to follow the work if you want to see what else i'm sharing what else we're acting as a node and passing on the information you can follow uh you can subscribe or follow the those through those platforms and all the links are in the description of this video for a lot of these open discussions where we have not when we're looking at stuff um such as politics economics education music and stuff like this i am uploading the audio to soundcloud soundcloud.com slash chicho okay so if you want to just listen to the audio of things you can find um uh, slowly the content is building up we just started doing this this year there's a lot of people that were asking me over the years to include this stuff just in audio format and one day we'll go back and catch up to everything and load up the audio for at least a few hundred of our live streams and other video recorded video to soundcloud for people to enjoy and we will we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitshoot and if you are on youtube uh, joining supporting this work through YouTube membership is also a great way to support this work okay gang um, I'm just gonna catch up with chat and let's run a poll let me take these guys down oops and done Graham how are you doing Super Mario Super Mario <laughs> comic books are such heaven they are they are punisher max live hello hello how are you doing punisher max punisher max was fantastic i've read uh i don't know if half the series or not with uh, garth ennis it was really good uh fantastic i think it's garth ennis anyway no to jump man <laughs> who doesn't love mario elder god doesn't love mario I don't know if you ever got ever played the Mario game or not. I actually managed to catch a comic book stream. Awesome, awesome. Nice to have you. TJ Photos. Glad you made it. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hi everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Weekend at Bernie's. Chicho, would you ever consider uploading your highest rated ASMR video audios to Spotify? Um, you should have access to them on Spotify through SoundCloud. Does Spotify can you access my uh, uh, the stuff on SoundCloud through Spotify or not? Weekend at Bernie's, Barney's. Sorry, let me know because if you can, then what I can do is uh, go through. No, sir, you can't. Hmm. Does that mean I have to go on another platform on Spotify? Because um, right now, like I'm paying $180 to be on SoundCloud to have. To upload the stuff on there i really don't want to take on another extra cost of loading onto spotify but i i can definitely regarding spotify you have to set it up set up an account yes so i have to set up an account on spotify um you guys if you guys can let me know on discord i'll look into it okay no extra cost it's just an account and the rrs code okay i thought i did I go through maybe I didn't okay you know what uh, if you send me a reminder on discord I'll set it up that way people can grab it and for sure I can go back and upload the top ASMR stuff to SoundCloud that way you can get it on a Spotify thank you for bringing it up we can add Barney's um, if you don't see it coming up in the next couple of weeks uh, dealt with send me a reminder and I'll hop on it uh, I'll try to get it done have you ever read the 1980s comic book martial law oh that that was epic comics is it epic comics or it was uh, number one i have it number one is like a it's like a 
it's like a head of a guy that's wearing a cap is blue and he looks like a marshal is that the one i read some of it it was really good who wrote that by the way i played it 39 years ago <laughs> greetings greetings jmas hey elder uh to elder god gang let's set up a poll yeah it was from epic comics yeah fantastic series and the artwork i really liked i barely remember it i just remember loving reading it um i, I how many issues did it run for it didn't run for very many issues if i recall correctly or at least i only read a few issues of it and i have them maybe i'll try to find them and do a comic book reading of those guys introduce the, that that one as an option as well to read epic comics by the way fantastic imprint of marvel uh, they put out some more mature stuff, which was very fantastic. It was really good. Really good. Okay. Gang, let's run a poll. We have to eliminate one of these to introduce this as an option to read. So we're going to do two polls today. The first poll is killing one of these guys. Not killing, but for today, we're going to eliminate it and replace it with this one. And then once we get down to five, we'll put it back for the next reading okay so does anyone does do any of the mods want to run the poll again or uh, should i type this in speedy gonzalez style and we do let me know i think it's backslash poll and then we just fill it in fill in five so we got crime kid cult exo super mario and the cult batman which one do we want to take out to replace with western thrills hey chicho thanks for responding to my message homie me. my pleasure uh ba, ba, ba. i can't awesome cheryl thank you i'm not capable of making one okay cheryl's are cheryl's doing amazing with the poll stuff which message was that uh mr nabanun three and then two no cheryl you know what let's run a poll with five with these comic books and one the the winner is taken out so it's the loser so we're doing a loser poll on this one the first one would be crime which is crime does not pay okay next one is kid cult is the western here let me do this like this so you can see let's see if this works okay so crime crime is good enough and then kid cult and then exo and then mario and then one to remove also and then batman the cult let's check it out okay which one do you guys want out i'm gonna i'm refraining from voting and i think it's a five minute poll yeah <laughs> no mario is being downloaded so far mario is a loser with two people voting to get it out cult has got one kid cult has got one mario's got three mario's gonna go out oh no oh no it's like a mario super kart race kid cult kill cult is coming up to crime crime does not pay has one vote on it everybody wants exo in so far exo is exo is the winner without re getting off the gate mario's got four kid cults mario and kid cult let's do this which one's gonna go out let's do our little race going on here oh kid cult and mario are tied kid cult and mario are tied look at this 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 they're tied oh they're tied at five now kid cult and mario I'm gonna be replaced with western thrills for this reading anyway exo is like in the gate exo's safe exo's safe crime does not pay has two batman cult has one oh man are we gonna have a tie we can't have a tie if there's a tie oh man i don't want to eliminate one <laughs> can mario come back for later <laughs> yeah yeah for sure we're only doing this for this reading okay because we're just going to introduce this and then we're going to run a poll to see which one of the five we're going to read and then we're going to have an empty spot and then whatever that was removed today will be put in place for the next reading okay so it's not a permanent elimination this is just temporary because i think we should have this one in the 
in the choices i think elder god wanted this one so mario's at six right now oh mario's out to mario mario you didn't do well on this race actually you won but winning wasn't the good choice by the way this is the cover of super mario brothers number three the game i <laughs> you guys gross <laughs> But where is the poll? Oh, the poll was up top. You have to click on it. You have to click on it to, uh, to do a vote on it. Fizzy swag. You have to you have to click on it. Okay, if it's kid, the same. Can Mario come back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mario got knocked, man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you didn't vote, uh, Fizzy. Despicable, great lasagna says, as Spider Man would say, good rinse. Oh no, poor Mario got knocked. We're gonna have a delicious Mario reading when we do. Really, it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, gang, let's run a poll. Let's see which one of these we're gonna read. Damn, my dad left me a box of serial comics in our attic. I've been uh, meaning to go through it and see what they're worth let me a sealed comics box of sealed comics oh man go through that we got the reading for today the polls up gang oh western thrills has already got three votes kit cult has got two votes we got two western comics by the way for today the choices five votes for western western thrills golden age western thrills got five votes oof, oof, oof. it's going through the roof it's going through the roof exo crime and cult haven't even left the gate yet eight votes for western thrills exo's got one kit cole's got three. Oh, it doesn't look like uh, the rest could catch up but they might they're still kit cole's got three yeah exo's got one and crime does not pay and batman are still in the gate the western books yeah this number 10 it's got 10 votes now western thrills it's like way ahead of the pack way ahead of the pack if you bet on western thrills you made good money you made good money on man we make this a regular basis in the background there'll be people betting on this where's the vegas polls going on right oh crime does not pay kicks up check this out we got two westerns really a crime one and two superheroes on this one right western thrills western thrills has got 10 and we got like seconds to go in the poll so it's going to be western thrills unless something magical happens right unless something crazy happens yeah we're going down this is amazing i didn't have uh to bribe anyone <laughs> this time <laughs> funny Fizzy, did you get the chance to vote as Western Thrills? Western Western Thrills. Crown does not pay goes up to two, but it's too late. Western Thrill takes it up with ten votes. Sixty-three percent of the votes. Okay, gang, you guys are out. You guys are out. Let's put you here. We got Western Thrills going on. Western Thrills. Nice. Thanks, Cheryl, for doing this. Very much appreciated. better hope western thrills wins now after upsetting all the marios out there yeah for sure it it, it would have to be like western books look really interesting pretty sure there's a ton of first watchmen in there which i'd just be excited to read regardless of that oh for sure fizzy watchman is amazing how old is western thrills check this out this is a comic book haul we did right and this is 1950 i just bought it uh, in last month and we did a comic book haul of it I just uploaded it uh, to YouTube in Bitchute yesterday I believe and we did the live stream of it like a few days ago right and I ended up paying 850 Canadian for this which is around 650 US okay and I'll give you guys the intro for this once we once we get going on this and should we start the reading gang one day Mario one day Mario it's it's got to happen right it's here but I'm gonna keep on introducing new books unless we'll see we'll see why right. thank you kind sir no 10 minute polls is no 10 minute polls this was perfect timing like quick speedy gonzalez sprints are the best the marathons is like oh you gotta go do your thing come back right 
So gang, should we do the reading? I'm going to give you guys the intro to this. It's a short intro, right? Uh, and then we'll hop right into the reading. Okay. But I'd like to do the intro um, just for people, just in the order format where we just talk about this, vote on it, and then we'll go through the comic and read it and I'll come back for the discussion after the fact. It's the oldest comic as well, I think. It's the oldest comic from the love. Um, the crime does not pay. What is the crime? Crime does not pay was 1952. So this is two years pre night. The crime does not pay. Okay. And the rest are more modern comics, except for Kid Colt. Kid Colt is 1962. So this is 1950. Okay. So I'm going to take down notifications. Da, 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 da. Let's take down. Where's my notifications? Notifications going down. I'm going to take down chat gang. So I'll, uh, that way the chat is not popping up here as we're reading it, but then we'll turn it back on once we finish the reading. And I'm going to take down my video. I'll come back once we finish the reading. Okay. Hey, come on. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Let me just make sure I do this. <coughs> and just as I did this, something jumped into my throat. <coughs> wow. <coughs> A choking. I managed to break my earphones after a few weeks. <coughs> Definitely couldn't look after a comic book for seven years. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Okay, I think we're good. Well, you put the comic books in a box and you're all set, right? Okay, gang, we're 22 minutes in. This is one of the quickest get to the comic book reading we've ever done, right? <coughs> okay so let me get this ready welcome to another comic book reading gang okay now we're about 20 minutes 25 minutes into a live stream that we're doing on twitch and we ran a couple of polls and what we decided to do for today is have a read through western thrills number 33 okay and this is a comic book that i just picked up within the last month it was a we did a video on it on a comic book haul okay and uh, i ended up paying 850 canadian for this about 650 us and this comic book is a canadian edition comic book that came out in the 1950s now trying to find the information on this comic book was a little bit more difficult trying to find out the origins and what it contains and stuff what it contains was uh, easy to find but what it ends up being is this is the same cover that is available on a comic book called red warrior number no. one which came out in the united states now from the comic book databases have gone to the date on Western Thrills number 33, this comic book, the Canadian edition, CDL, when you see here, is Canadian, right? It says this thing came out in 1950. Now, Red Warrior, it says it came out in 1951, okay? And they have the same cover. The only difference is, is the Western Thrills, instead of writing Western Thrills here, it says Red Warrior. And Red Warrior was published by atlas comics which is the precursor to marvel comics okay and the red warrior cover actually has a black circle here that says tales from the land of the uh red man right red men which is sort of a crazy thing to say right but it is during those periods right it's from the 1950s right so tales from I'm just pulling it up right now. Tales from the land of the red men. And in the bottom of it, 
it's got three different panels right where it has some other writing and it shows some of the I'm assuming some of the panels from the book itself okay and aside from that it has a 10 cent cover price here and it's got another green round thing here which I believe is a wishing um, the wishing circle thing the uh, the which uh, wishing catcher or that dream catcher sorry wishing catcher jeebus jeebus right it's the dream catcher that is uh, something that the native uh, indigenous population of canada united states had okay now the information i'm getting from this is from the grand comic book data data uh page okay and one note that i read here when i went to western thrills the information for western thrills it says quote unknown if the contents match contents of an american comic that the cover is taken from so it says this cover is taken from the american comic but the american comic came out in 1951 and this was com came out in 1950 so i'm not sure what's going on here however i thought this would be an amazing comic book to read as well and it's something that one of our mods on twitch mentioned that we should include as our reading because that way if anybody does have red warrior number one once we do the reading of this because i couldn't find the pages the inside pages of this anywhere uh, not in the comic book plus or anything so i don't know if this has been archived okay so comic book plus has a lot of free comic books that you can read from the 1950s but i couldn't find it on there and i couldn't find red warrior either so if anybody has red warrior number one that sees this comic book this reading they can you know if you get the chance comment in the description of this reading if it contains the same content as red warrior number one as for who's involved with this for red warrior because i couldn't find the information regarding western thrills and the, the only information i can find through western thrills is that the cover is tom gill and the inks is by tom gill this that we see here right so the cover is by tom gill for the red warrior the editing was by stan lee okay red warrior number one because this was published as marvel atlas comics and the inside pages are by tom gill and george Koska. okay i just wanted to give you guys that info that way you have a good idea of what it is uh what it is that this is right and just in the live chat that's going on right now graham just mentioned i found scans of red warrior i will double check awesome so we we can confirm if this is the same content as red warrior which is fantastic fantastic right let's crack this open let's crack this open and take a look at the cover now when i bought this like within the last month right as i said i paid 850 canadian for this which is around 650 us which is an amazing price as far as i'm concerned for something as rare as this because very difficult to find this like there is there was only one that i could find that was listed on ebay that was sold when i was bidding on this and it was a higher grade than this and it sold for a lot more than what i paid for this right and this was supposed to be graded at good 2.0 okay and the cover is at attached right so it's not detached um there isn't huge chunks missing from it there's definitely a rip here right the pages are a little bit faded but this looks great wow 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 let's take a look at this thing and then here's a back cover for this right and again nothing major missing from the back cover either which is fantastic right what is this guy hi betty i dare you all uh hi betty are you all set to go to the school dance tonight let's just read through this the back cover one for now okay usually i read the read the little fine prints but let's just do this one for now i'm sorry bill but i just can't make it i don't feel well she says what's wrong with you betty you haven't uh gone out with bill in months 
how can I go out with all these blotches on my face? I feel so ashamed that I'll never go out again, she says. Now don't cry, dear. Look at the ad in this book. It says that uh, Marvel, Marvel Skin Cream will help you help clear your skin in 10 days. So cheer up. Do you really think so, mother? I'll send for a jar right away. 10 days later, 10 days later, I guess it, it was instantaneous shipping back then. Right? Go gosh, Betty, your skin is lovelier than ever and it feels so smooth. I could hold you like this forever. Thank you, Bill, she says. And thanks to Marvel Skin Cream. I have a lovely complexion and enjoy uh, going out again. The Marvel Skin Cream has no relation to Marvel Comics because when this was being put out as Red Warrior, it would have been Atlas Comics, right? <clears throat> All right. Funny. So, gang, should we go through this? Let's flip through this. Let's read through this. And this says, uh, replay. Check this out. Replacing Treasured Boys Adventures. Okay. Now, I tried searching online for Treasured Boys Adventures, and I couldn't find anything. Okay. So, I don't know what the history of this comic book is, uh, but brilliant. It's got someone's name in pencil here, Bernard. A little bit of pencil marks here so the seller graded this as good I would have graded this as more than good to tell you the truth there is no chunks missing the cover is still attached right now let's take a look at this that's pretty cool let's read the fine print for this maybe it'll tell us more because I haven't read the fine print yet I'm just going to read it because it'll be very difficult to get it to focus. Published by Bell Features and Publishing Company Limited, 165 York Street, Toronto, Ontario. Contents copyright and must not be reproduced without permission. The publisher accepts no responsibility for unsolicited material. Any similarity between characters and names contained here and there's a little bit of it's faded so we're chunk little chunk gone is this a tape on it no it's not a tape so that little chunk gone uh here after here any person either living or dead is purely coincidental all names and characters used by something used by permission I guess something like that okay so the little fine print doesn't tell us anything else doesn't tell us that if, if this is a reprint of red warrior number one or and check this out the coming of red warrior right so I got a feeling one of the dates on these is wrong if this is as 1950 does it say 1950 this doesn't even have the date on it by the way gang so in the fine print it doesn't even include the date right which is interesting maybe they did a test run of this printing this in canada and then they decided to print it in the united states okay Ooh. let's have a read through the back cover for now or the back of the front cover for now camp kinks and woodcraft check this out First, a curl of birch bark, dry as it can be, then some twigs of softwood, softwood, dead, but on a tree. Last of all, some pine nuts to make a kindle foam. Okay. And there is a fire to make. You think you'll, you're setting right at home. E.T. Seton, the two savages. Right. So that's the quote taken from there. Interesting. Indian fire stick, cap, bow, drill, tinder, fireboard. Take a look. Bring it up so you can see it. All right. 
construction the fireboard the fire fireboard a piece of soft wood five eight inches by 12 inches by three inches drill five eighths thick by 12 inch long bow a 30 inch branch with a with a leather thong tie as shown tinder finely shredded cedar bark make sure your tinder is dry cedar bark make sure <laughs> sh shred shredded cedar bark make sure your tinder is dry right cool check out the kin kindling right Let's get this focus for you guys there you go kindling shaving cluster this fuzz stick is made from a 12 inch piece of softwood stack wood around it after it has been lit right that's cool so you take the piece of wood and sort of sliver it i guess sort of take out little thin pieces so cut it out like a I don't know what would you call this fuzz fuzz stick pot hangers oh, that's cool ah oh, check this out you take a stick make a sort of a teeter-totter out of it right and then put the branch with the leaves and stuff on one side put a rock on it it holds your pot above the fire right cool or use a couple of logs or jam it into some kind of boulder right or tie it up or check out this one i like the fifth option this one right that's cool nice so gang we're not gonna flip through it we're just gonna read this thing let's read this thing awesome <clears throat> the coming of red warrior the shaman love the horse spotted horse check that out let's read through this a streak of stra uh, jagged lightning flashed across the evening sky and an earth-shaking clap of thunder rolled across the plains then all was still soft soft ran the brooks and quiet whispered the wind through the trees hushed were the antelope oh, let's get this focused hush were the antelope and bison on the vast prairie and in the dis in a distant mountain a stalking panther paused and listened the voice of manitou had spoken and all living things fell still for they sensed the mighty spirit had touched the bow of a newborn indian child whose name was to be red warrior that is fantastic beautiful and tom gill right signed And as far as I know, we don't know who the writer for this is. If you can find out, that would be fantastic. Tense and expect, tense and expectant, Gray Eagle, the mighty Comanche chief, waited near the campfire for word from the teepee. It is almost time, Grey Eagle. The women are coming 
from the TP. I would rather stalk a wounded bear than wait here longer, he says. The gray eagle, it could be the chief maybe. Was it you carrying? Was it, was it, what is it you carrying in your arms? Nakoma, speak old woman. The mighty spirits have granted your wish, Grey Eagle. They have given you a son. Manitou has been good to me. Take my firstborn to the brook and bathe him in cold water. Is his mother well, Nam Nakuma? She is well already. She asks to nurse your son. Build up the fires, bring meat and fish. Let there be dancing and singing. I go now to give thanks to the mighty spirit. On a mighty rock overlooking the lands of his forefathers, the great chief turns his face to the sky. O oh, mighty Manitou, maker of all things, great and small, hear my voice, give to my son, your spirit give him strength wisdom and courage to lead wisely and bravely his people i think since the pages are a little faded it's uh, the camera is not focusing in as fast Teach him to honor the aged and obey the wise. Teach him to protect the weak and guide the strong. Let him find greatness in wisdom and wisdom in all living things of the streams and forests. Crack, boom. The mighty spirit has answered. He's happy. And so the little body grew straight and strong, subtle as the bows of the hemlock, graceful as the swaying birch. Enough, enough. There's much time for play later. Come back to your, to your tanning and scrapping. Your father's, father's leggings are not half finished. Tanning and scrapping. Your father's le leggings are not half finished. What are they carrying? That look could be the precursor to uh, lacrosse. Yeah, looks like lacrosse sticks. Interesting. I wonder if the origin of lacrosse is uh, from the indigenous population here. I know Canada lacrosse is the national sport believe it or not right so lacrosse is a national sport for canada this gives me uh, just this panel makes me believe that this was originally published in canada since lacrosse is canada's national sport right i don't know how big lacrosse is in the united states interesting why do you make me 
do the things which girls and women do. Do not question age and wisdom. All this will come in handy when you grow up. On the trail, you will have to sew your own uh, moccasins and repair your own things. Learn and be quiet, she says. So that's the chief's son. No, we just got word from a chat on live stream that Graham mentioned that uh, he checked and lacrosse is based on Native American pastime. That's cool. The old lady continues. From the women, you will learn the magic of herbs and roots, the secrets of healing, which Manutu hid in all the plants. Later, you can learn to fight and hunt. Be patient, red warrior. Time passed and red warrior training was turned to the hands of skilled hunters and trappers. Why do we wait? Why don't we kill them, big horn? There is enough meat in camp. To kill unnecessarily is not our way. We are here to watch and learn their habits. Brilliant, brilliant. She is suspicious. The wind is shifting. The bucks will feed until she gives the signal. Always the doe will come into the clearing first. If all is well, the buck will follow. Suddenly, like a bolt of savage brown lightning, Shanutu the great grizzly wow there's the grizzly there check that out grizzly move shanutu the great grizzly move back quietly if he scents us he will drop the buck and come for us the warrior says look at that nice oh the grizzly's charging oh they're in deep trouble but it is too late the hunger crazed bear has caught the human scent he sees us he sees us he sees sees us run red warrior no i will not run he says Grrr. when a bear grizzly charges look out He must go down with your first arrow. Send it deep and true to his heart. The er arrow churned its way through bone and muscle, lodging deep in the savage heart. But still the enraged bear beast come, come, came on. I haven't time to draw another arrow. I must use my knife. Red Warrior says, look at that. He charges the grizzly like a mountain, like a mountain of tearing, ripping, rending fury. The pain crazed brute reared up and sought it, sought its foe with saber-like claws. Look at his knife he's got in his hand, right? He's going in. Summoning every bit of strength he could muster, the sine boy buried his knife deep in the shaggy beast, twisting and turning the blade with deadly purpose today you have earned your name red warrior there's little more i can teach you no you are wrong i have much to learn he says
he grew and he learned from everything the great spirit placed on the earth he pried loose secrets and absorbed knowledge he learned the ways of the birds and the beasts he studied the things that lived in the forest and on the plains the rocks yielded him their finest flints and the forest their their strongest woods he grew f grew fleet as the nimble deer quick as the striking panther and quiet as the stalking wolf beautiful absolutely beautiful manhood came early and with it the knowledge that men like himself white in color threaten his life bad medicine comes a party of white men have killed running bear and blue hawk i alone have escaped their guns dismount and speak the chief says We made camp near the river folk, fork. The white men came and demanded our meat and skins and refused and we refused and they killed with their guns. It is the old trouble all over again, the chief says. They will come, a few at first and then many. We will fight them and lose to sheer numbers. We will be pushed further and further toward the setting sun. It is bad, the chief says. A brief council was held and the decision came from older, calmer men. The chief is right. We can hunt these white men down, but others will come. We must not lose our young men. It is better that we move westward to a new camp. The camp moved to a new location, but still the tides of white men came on and on. Look at that, they're looking at a sort of encampment of the, I'm assuming initially it would have been settlers or tribe or military it is wrong the white man comes and destroys our food they kill game without reason and chase it off the plains they will yet push us into the sea or destroy us entirely the chief says the braves returned from the trading post and said the white men are acting crazy from fire water they cannot they cannot all be the same. There must be good men amongst them, Red Warrior says. Smoke, it comes from our village. Oh no, something has happened, the chief says. Oh no. They reached the village but nothing was left. In its place lay smoldering ruins and the pitiful shapes of murdered Comanches. Old men and women, the white men have done this. It is their way, the chief says. But where are our men? Why did they leave the village unprotected? Red Warrior asks. In his father's teepee, Red Warrior found his dying mother, and a great surge of hatred cursed through him. Mother, what happened? They came while the young men were out hunting buffalo. There were eight, eight of them, roaring and screaming with, with drink. We could 
do nothing but die my son without her I am an I am an old tired man the chief says we will move my son our people will survive this evil soon someone else must lead them may the great spirit choose you my son father the people together gather the people together and lead them to new hunting grounds I will join you in a few days red warrior says oh he's angry look at that rightfully so and for the first time in his life red warrior left camp with war paint on his face and vengeance in his heart the tracks get fresher they cannot be more than an more than an hour's ride away he says an hour later red warrior found their camp and carefully studied the layout while i reckon we're sure making friends for ourselves we're wanted in six states now and this makes the seventh ha ha this ain't state this ain't a state it's a darn heathen infested territory did you see the faces on them red devils when we bushwhacked their camp ha ha they say look at them how many is there eight of them laugh you killers of old men and women you will soon laugh no more a red warrior says there must be no escape for them after i scatter their horses i will begin on them He attacked quickly and without warning the great bow bent back silently in his uh, si sinew si siny hands and the first arrow slew flew to its mark oh, he takes one out you will die by the red man's weapons all of you oh he took out that guy in the white shirt again and again the mighty bow sang a dirge of death as terror and confusion gripped the liquor crazed bandits there he is get the yeller vermin cool. we took the guy in the yellow shirt down beautiful panel yeah crash nice nice twisting dodging squirming like a fresh uh, threshing snake the mighty red red skin struck parried slashes and battered his way through his first baptism of blood and fire awesome absolutely awesome yeah and then it was over while he staggered breathless breathless and haze haze crazed amongst the mangled bodies about him a savage instinct brought a hoarse ear splitting shout of victory out of his battered parched throat yeah. awesome 
He rode silently into the setting sun, exhausted but satisfied, knowing that he could find his people and a new life ahead. The end. Wow, wow, wow. What a story. Holy camoles. Wow. And this is what you could read in comic books in the 1950s while television and whatnot was producing just garbage propaganda about Indians and being savages and the cowboys being the heroes holy camoles and the writing my god look at this twisting dodging squirming like a freshly uh, threshing snake the mighty redskin struck pair parried slashing and batter his way through his first baptism of blood and fire brilliant I wish we knew who wrote this. Incredible. Okay, we're gonna skip the ads, gang. Maybe anyone can learn to dance. From that story to an ad of anyone can learn to dance. Have fun, thrills, romances. Only $2.25 dancing wow red warrior meets the th the threat of flaming arrow check this out red warrior meets the threat of flaming arrow it's tom gilligan signed doing the art In a peaceful little valley, let's zoom this in so you can see it too. In a peaceful little valley, as Red Warrior prepares a simple meal of maize and fried venison, the wail of a treacherous arrow splits the air. Where's the arrow? Oh, there's the arrow. Check it out. Hits the tree above his head. Just misses him, eh? Nice panel. Oh, he's got a gun as well. Check that out. He's got a rifle. Cool. A hidden enemy sent that arrow at my back. It came from the clump of hemlock over there. bent grass and broken twig quickly finds the would-be assassin hiding place the grass is bent gently by the heel of the red man's moccasins the boot of a white man would have broken the grass perhaps the arrow will tell me a clearer story he says There's the arrow, check it out. There was this campfire and there's the arrow where he was, right? Cool. Look at that, he's checking out the arrow, right? So let's see what he's thinking. It is a war arrow, not a hunting arrow. The tip, it, the tip is of iron and the feathers of a great dove. It is not the arrow of the Shawnee, Cheyenne, Apa, Padoa, or Shonshun.
It is a Comanche arrow, the arrow of my own tribe, he says. That evening at the great campfire, amongst them is the man who tried to, to take my life today. Who is he? And why does he hate me? He says. So we went back to his tribe. There's a whole bunch of them. Let's check it out. Those are his people there. Oh, my brothers, heed my war words. Hard is the lot of the common brave amongst us, but not so hard the task of a chief's son while we hunt and trap and go go for many days on the plains the son of a chief may may stay behind with the woman and children we bring meat for the camp from our own from our own toils but the idle ones share the meat while with the hunters it is fortunate there's only one such in our camp otherwise the people would starve the guy says you lie flaming arrow you use the tongue of an evil old woman against me jealousy and hatred fill your heart and the words of a sunken coyote slinking coyote flow from your lips Bam, he punches him in the face look at that Bam. it is true what i have said red warrior your words are lies the things you say you yourself are guilty of he says this week alone i have brought a brought in three deer and two antelope how much meat have you killed flaming arrow in my teepee are the skins of two wolves and five foxes what pelts have you taken red warrior says In the hunt, you have been lucky. In a fight, I could crack your body in two. A simple fight would not still your gossiping, malicious tongue, but perhaps a fight to the death would. I give you a choice. Seal your mouth or fight to the death, Red Warrior says. Wow. The choice is made. And an elder of the tribe arranges the terms you will meet you will meet in the valley of the dead when the moon rises tonight alone at the burial grounds of our ancestors the fight will be waged only one must return alive so be it the elder says A cool moon rises in the evening sky, sky while the grinning skulls of departed warriors stare down at the eerie scene. The moon cl climbs higher and higher, but still falling arrow does not appear. There are none to watch us. I alone shall return to the camp victor victorious Boom, he comes up behind them look at that did he smack him with his axe
what's going on. Stunned by the treacherous attack, Red Warrior recovers and struggles to fight off his crazed assailant. It was you who tried to kill me with a treacherous arrow. Yes, it was I. I failed, but now I shall succeed. Oh, he trips. Oh, look at the shock in his face. You speak too soon, booster, boaster. Ah, oh, look at that, Red Warrior's got him. I could take your life now, Flaming Arrow, but it is too soon. Twice you tried to take my life by the tricks of a coward. But even in this, I will show you, show you which of us is a man and which a chicken. <laughs> Stand up, Flaming Arrow, and heed my words. We are both members of the secret order of Red Dogs, and by their code will, will we fight. Each of us wears the Wolrapan headdress of the Red Dog. Let us use them. An ancient secret rite is observed and sharp lances pierce the war wool wool headdresses pinning their wearers to to a fixed point on the battlefield almighty spirit give me strength either to run away or move from my battle battle spot let me bear pain and punishment and if I die, let me die bravely, Red Warrior says. Look at that. That's cool. I am ready. He who first pulls away from his lance or retreats shall suffer shame and death. Fight, Flaming Arrow. To the death so they pinned each other down so each one's pinned down check that out with the arrow with the this thing right that's cool and they're fighting with knives the struggle begins and only the clash of deadly weapons and panting of the two braves disrupts the eerie stillness of the ancient burial grounds locked in mortal combat with death with death for one or both as the only possible outcome the slashing rending knives cut deep into skin muscles and bones coward already you have broken the sacred rule of the red dog by touching flesh to flesh let go of my hand carry an eater i know only one rule to kill my enemy by any means he says look at that he's holding his wrist right The knife strikes deep, sending spasms of screaming pain through torn flesh and tortured nerves. Ah, oh, look at that. He stabbed Red Warrior. Only the eyes of the dead, only the eyes of the dead witness my act, but their tongues are forever still. And so shall yours be, Red Warrior. Look at that, 
is about to kill him. A scudding cloud hides the faces of the dead and blinds the moon to the act of murder. Still in the night, quiet the living things of the plains and the hills, while life itself halts as the land swings, swings poised over the doomed red man. Suddenly, a terrible voice of the Great Spirit speaks, and for a split second, the lance pauses on its deadly path. Crack, boom. Gives a chance for Red Warrior to get up. Look long at the moon and the stars, traitor. Your eyes will see them no more trips him. The code of the red dog binds me no more. The guy's trying to run away. Cool. Throws a spear right in his chest. Rest, my son. I watch you fight, but could not interfere. Oh, the chief is there. Check that out. Rest, my son. I watched you fight, but could not interfere, even though death threatened you. Each day brings you closer to leadership. I am proud of you, Red Warrior. The end. Cool battle. circus for all whose hearts are young at the lowest price ever circus wonder show cuts out toy train cuts out cutouts oh cutouts circus wonder show cut out toy train cut out check that out a little bit faded eh? they're just cutouts for 99 cents or 98 cents the lady and el diablo a one-page write-up story now heavier stronger better the most amazing tool set ever offered six handy tools in one complete unit dollar 25 <laughs> look at the size of the screwdrivers and stuff <laughs> look at the size of that one so small so small new nice new look at the little things you do need little screwdrivers for sure for sure and this is a center and it's nicely staples are nicely attached all right cool oh and the story continues from here check that out the lady and diablo continued after next page it says here right and then it continues here and that's the end of it right check this out wow interesting novana rosary cross of seven sorrows cool and those are different stations right that match these things the cross hold the cross close to your eye here let's read this let's read this one hold the cross close to your eye and look into each of the seven jewel like crystals your eyes will glow in renewed reverence. Your heart will utter a silent prayer as you see clearly and distinctly. Immortal scenes, the seven sorrows of the Blessed Mother. 
the beads are made of the finest cut crystals colored gleaming black coral pink azure blue and crystal white each rosemary packaged in gift box regular retail price is 1050 okay order directly from what something crafters only 498 that's cool that's one of the most expensive things we've seen sold in comic books right next let's read this one the hunt the hunt okay what is wrong black eagle why do your ears twitch with alarm oh check this out and this one if the artwork is done by george custa and george custa is pretty big right he's done a lot of work nice so what is wrong black eagle why do your ears twitch with alarm the boy says far from his sioux village an indian boy combs the lonely hills seeking game for his eager bow an adventure for his restless soul and he's riding bareback right no saddles let me dismount black eagle that i may steady the trail and smell the secrets of the wind there's something behind those bushes that is why you were nervous my steed oh it's a little bear check that out haha <laughs> cute oh but you better be cautious when there's little cubs around there's big bears around mother bears look black eagle here's your danger a little cub oh he shouldn't be around there but super cute cub right look at a little cub let us wait here in silence until the mother bear returns oh no you don't want to do that what a prize it will be to take her pelt back to the tribe ah he wants to wait and kill the mother bear <laughs> and he's so happy about it look at that funny a all the elders of the tribe will then admit that young walking fur is a great hunter he's gonna make a trap it looks like you must be silent black eagle for all depends upon mother bear suspecting nothing look at that he set up a trap check it out he's bent the tree look at that it's got a bent arch to it there the trap is finished now we must wait black eagle and when the trap is sprung i must strike with the speed of cinta the snake listen a heavy tread our patience will soon be rewarded he says look black eagle she comes is she not a prize worthy of a mighty hunter when her heavy paw strikes the trap the sap sapling 
will be released. The stout rope will bind her foot, hurling her on her back. It is then that I must lose my arrow before she can free herself. Listen, she has caught our scent. Grar. Oh, that looks like a grizzly. That's dangerous. Steady, Black Eagle. But another moment, and the prize will be ours. See how the cub runs out. To see its mother, little dream dreaming it is for the last time. I remember when I would run to greet my mother in the same manner before the great spirit took her away, he says. Behold, the moment has come. My arrow is ready. The bear, the grizzly is going towards the trap. Why do I remember how now, how heavy was my heart when my mother went to the great spirit? Why does my hand tremble and shake? He says. My arrow must fly with the speed of lightning. Look at the bear's face, the grizzly's face. That's a grizzly, that's a grizzly for sure. Go free, mighty monarch of the woods. I cannot find it in my heart to kill you. Dwayne, he shot the, the rope, the trap. and go after and so after two months the boy and his steed returned to camp two moons not months my, my apologies so and so after two moons the boy and his steed returned to camp you have returned from the hunt without a pelt my son and yet you ride with content contentment in your eyes what has happened young walking fur I have learned a great lesson my elders sometimes the aim can be sure when the target is not hit uh -huh. the end Haha, <laughs> check this out. The inside story of professional wrestling. Awesome. Learn the truth about the inside story of professional wrestling. Okay, we're gonna look at this because uh we got a professional wrestler that is following our work, Ripper. I think he would appreciate this. Let's read this game. Look at that. Right? Cool, cool, cool. Let's check this out. It's here, little wrestler, wrestlers fighting. A complete who's who and what's what of wrestling. Check, choke full of interesting, never before published inside information from Chicago, St. Louis, St. Louis, Boston, and every wrestling uh, connect, conscious city and tell throughout America and Canada immediate personal life stories of the stars in the ring and at home anecdotes of the great greats of yesterday and today women wrestlers the humorous side of wrestling most frequently asked questions and answers how is your wrestling IQ does anybody who know who that is 
that Antonio Roca Roca is that Antonio Roca Antonio Roca once kill a man in a wrestling match why did Primo Car Carnera return to the ring as a wrestler what is the inside story of the feud between uh, Mr. America Gene Stanley and Nature Boy Buddy Rogers cool whipper check this is a whipper Billy Watson whipper Billy Watson the Canadian wrestling age ace earns upwards of fifty thousand dollars a year the income is derived not only from his wrestling bouts of which he has more than 100 a year but from lucrative sidelines including a soft drink and the manufacturing of custom built bars and kitchen uh, units both incomes however are built upon billy's illustrious ring career yvonne roberts yvonne roberts check this out what does this fine print say the picture for the picture whipper billy watson is here seen losing the mask uh, tossing the mask terror in a recent toronto bout right. throws him over cool find out the truth and the amazing answers to these and countless other questions in this great new book just off the press send no money check this out everything you wanted to know about your favorite stops all in one big book who's this person what does that say dominion mail we don't know who that is great matches of all time hundreds of action photos and male and female and of male and female wrestling the one complete book on wrestling very cool rush no risk coupon for the record we're glad no one cut this out red warrior one more red warrior story is this the last one i think this is the last red warrior story Red warrior in horns of death. Look at the wolves. Oh, what's going on? Looks like a sickness taken over the the tribe. The dog is laying down. There's a guy, two people down. This guy sla slouched over. The grass of the rolling plains crackles dry dryly as a soft ominous wind sweeps hotly across the grasslands for 20 days not a drop of precious rain has fallen upon upon the parched earth like a silent plague the deadly drought descends on the land bringing famine and pestilence in its wake touching everything that lives upon the plains and this is again as Tom Gill doing the artwork. Cool. Death. The life giving grass curls brown and dies the trees of the plain and forest shed their foliage in death the streams and water holes disappear in the cracked earth which can no longer sustain life the buffalo the antelope
with the scent of death all about them, the great herds move slowly northward in search of food and water. In two days, not a living thing will remain on the land. Already disease has stricken my people. Slowly, the great chief of the Comanche rides back to his village, his heart filled with pain and sadness. Oh my, be, oh my beloved people, my heart is heavy at the sight of the sick and whimpering children. Not a shred of meat, not a grain of maize remains in our stores. How goes it, old warrior? Have the hunting parties returned? It goes hard with us, Grey Eagle. I do not care for myself or the other ancients among us. It is the women, the children, and our young people for whom I pray. Two of the hunting parties have returned empty-handed. The braves are worn out and weak. Their horses will no longer carry them on the hunt. My son, Red Warrior, leads the third party. Perhaps they will have better luck. May the Great Spirit bless them, the chief says. Yonder comes the last hunting party, Grey Eagle. Their hands are empty. I do not see my son amongst them, he says. Has some evil befallen them? What news do you bring, brave hunters? It is bad, Chief Gray. The herds are moving northward. We do not have the strength to follow or to kill. The stragglers are useless for food they are swollen and diseased what of my son has he returned with you he refused to return he chose to follow the herds and bring back meat or die on the plains With a fatality common to their race, the famished tribe sits down to wait for death. O oh, mighty Manutu, save my people from death. Give to my son your great spirit, that he may bring back the goodness of your will. Meanwhile, on the scorching plains, Red Warrior watches his horse succumb. To thirst and exhaustion Phil farewell faithful friend we will ride again on a greater hunting ground than this oh, it's unfortunate his horse died I like that horse weak from thirst and hunger the exhausted brave turns his steps into the wasteland of barren prairie. I cannot return empty-handed. Ahead I will find either food or death, he says. Hours later, the, the hunt is over. I have, been, I have but strength enough left to find a shelter, sheltered spot in which to die. Oh, hands and knees, the dying brave on it on his on hands and knees, the dying brave drags himself in search of a last resting place. There I will die. 
hidden tunnel a strong wind cool and fragrant blows through it i can smell fresh running water within the tunnel nice and check this out the little writing at the bottom more tales more tales of days when the red men ruled ruled the range and the next issue of red warrior right so let's continue this oh look at this he found water he's jumping in for a swim nice nice staggering falling stumbling the thirst crazed red man lurches through the winding tunnel until water water amidst death and famine water from the bowels of the parched heat crack plains almighty oh, spirit i am grateful he dives in for a swim look at that he's going in with his bow and arrow and his spear that's how desperate he is haha <laughs> look at the smile on his face i feel strength and hope returning I must follow the stream wherever it empties. The great spirit guides my steps. He follows and suddenly emerges into daylight to view a miracle of nature. Great is the hand of Manitou. Here will my people find food and water in the midst of famine and pestilence. The camp is too far away and the braves are too tired to reach here. I must make the first kill myself. On hands and knees, he stalks on weary herd, crawling closer and closer to the horns of death. I must strike quickly and, st and stampede the herd. If I fail, they will charge me. With a wild Comanche war whoop, red warrior strikes. Yay, ay, The great bison falls, but the herd does not stampede. Instead, with horns lowered, they face their attacker. They turn to charge. I'll kill as many as I can before I am forced to run. Arrow after arrow hurls into the great beast, but finally, with an earth-shaking cl clamor, the thunder down. They thunder down on Red Warrior. Look at that! He's running. Those are brave buffalo, eh? In a desperate leap for his life, Red Warrior plunges behind the protective curtains of water, as the herd wheels away harmlessly. Meanwhile, on a bluff near the doomed Indian camp, Red Warrior lives. Look, smoke signals. They say food and water. Oh, it's like way back there. Check that out. Smoke signals coming up. Nice. The great spirit speaks through my, your son, mighty chief. Food and water. Our people are saved. And that night, the grateful Indians eat, drink, and give praise to the mighty Manitou, God of all living things. The people are happy again, and great spirit has touched your, your brow, red warrior. All is well, the chief says to his son. Right. They're all dancing and stuff. Very cool. Very cool. The best love stories of all time delight the hearts of children never anything like it magical picture book
fun for boys and girls. 14 wonder books all in one, 221 pages full of lively fun. Should we read this one too? Sure, let's read this as well. Boomerang. Let's check this out. Boomerang. It is funny, but a geography lesson about Australia is to blame for the shimmer. What? Shiner, not shimmer. <laughs> Boomerang. It is funny, but a geography lesson about Australia is to blame for the shiner. The natives of that country have a strange weapon called a boomerang. It looks like this. Two and a half inches, three and a half inches. So it's not center, it's not symmetrical. Lay out the above diagram on a piece of heavy cardboard. Cut out the boomerang with scissors. Cool. Balance the boomerang on one hand and strike it sharply with a pencil held in the other hand. Huh, look at what he's doing. Oh, you balance and hit it with a pencil. Cool. With a little practice, it will always return to you. I wonder which side are you supposed to hit it? The longer side or the shorter side? I'm assuming the longer side. Or it looks like the shorter side in the dry. Like this. Check it out. He hits it and ch -ch 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 boomerang goes. I did it again. Oh, he's got two shiners. Right? Check it out. This is the shiner. So this one, he had a shiner. His, what is it? Left eye's got a shiner. He gave himself a little black eye. And then he came back and hit him in the left eye. Uh oh hey focus there you go fun great comic book holy camoles what a read this is by the way the only issue of western thrills number 33 if this is the same comic inside pages i'm guessing it would be of red warrior number one that was printed by atlas comics Edited by Stan Lee, printed by Atlas Comics, which is precursor to Marvel, right? There was, uh, I believe it was a uh, eight issue. There was a few issues of that, anywhere between six to eight issues of Red Warrior number one. I'm going to try to get my hands on them. This was a fantastic read. This first story was beautiful. Wow, what a story. So heavy, so heavy, right? Fantastic fantastic i hope you guys enjoyed the read wow these are the types of treasures you end up getting with comic book hauls that you really you know it's got to be something special but you don't know and ground sending a message can confirm this is the same story as red warrior number one right on the advertisements are different and that little boomerang thing isn't in red warrior okay awesome thank you very much for that infogram and that's one thing that happens with the difference between canadian edition comic books and american edition comic books the advertisements change right but one thing that we found was this is uh the comic book databases are saying this is from the 1950 and red warrior is from 1951 and if that's the case and this says replacing treasured boys adventures which i couldn't find i don't find any info on this uh, but considering this was had uh, lacrosse in it i'm starting to think that this was maybe first printed in canada especially with the dates preceding the american one with the lacrosse story as well but who knows who knows and who the writer is uh we don't know we just know who the artists are right i'm gonna turn back turn my uh camera back on 
I'm going to turn the chat back on. Nice. A wall of chat comes up and the browser back on. It didn't even say the artist. It did say the artist. It had the signature of the artist in it, in this. So we know for sure that the artwork for three of the stories are done by Tom Gill. And one of the stories is by George Tusca. Okay. So the first, second and third story, actually there's four stories, I guess. The first, second, third and last story are by Tom Gill. And the fourth story is by the artwork is by George Tucka, Tusca. Okay. But we don't know who wrote this. That's the kicker. We don't know the writer for this. And the writing was brilliant. Lacrosse, by the way, is one of the fastest growing sports in the United States. My son is considering playing it on the club team at high school. Awesome Catholic traditions. Uh, I've had a few students that play lacrosse. Lacrosse is pretty big in Canada. It really is. And it's a really good sport, actually. And it's taken from the indigenous population, right? Uh, their stories. Peter Balkus, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to chat gang. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, the reading and our timing on this isn't bad. We've been going at this for a couple of hours. So we're probably going to call the stream. He should, he'll love it. Yeah, lacrosse is a great sport. Very good sport, very physical. You have to be precise, very team oriented. It's it from all my students who've played it. They love it. Really, they love it. Absolutely love it. Gang, thanks for being here. Uh, Zare, thank you for contributing for us to get some comic books. I sort of went ballistic with it, uh, topped it up a little bit. And this is one of the books that we ended up getting um, sort of kicked in into high gear of doing a comic book haul, which is fantastic. And uh, for sure, we're going to do more comic book readings. This was in the last five days, we've done seven streams, right? Five scheduled and five unannounced, unscheduled streams that we ended up doing, which is fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to try to get caught up with uh, uploading the videos and some back end work. I'm in Britain, never heard of lacrosse. Lacrosse is fantastic. Look it up, it's really good. Love the reading, me too, Elder God. And thank you for recommending that we should include this in the readings, right? I think it was you that recommended it. Coolio only made it for the second half, but I enjoyed it. Now to watch those movies. I'm enjoying our discussion on the Discord, by the way, Chicho. Hope I'm not frustrating you with it. No, no, for sure not, Coolio. I love the discussions and I hope you see my perspective on it. I still have to hop on the movies. I'm gonna do marathons on them in this week, I think. And for the next set, I think we'll have the movie stream going on so we can talk about it and recommend more movies, right? Uh, but gang, thanks for being here. If you enjoy this content, you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon, patreon.com slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share and like. So you can see what we're doing there and at a certain point if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to make sure we continue to do this okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e we had a discord troll oh wow cool did you use your sword elder god off with their heads if you want to participate in these discussions uh, watch these things that are happening live twitch is where you want to be at okay i do announce these streams on twitter gap minds vk lo on parlor he's in troll 11 all the god says if you want to follow the work uh you can follow follow us through those platforms and you'll see what it is that we are sharing okay for a lot of the open discussions that we have we will be uploading the videos or the audio to soundcloud.com slash chicho la chicho C-H-Y-C-H-O. And at some point, we'll go back and upload a lot of the previous uh, content that we had, the audio for it, onto SoundCloud. We just had a uh, request to do so for the top ASMR videos we have on 
online to get the audio up on those and i'll look into it i'll look into it enjoy the logical business that was a f very fun com very fun comic blew me away really fantastic air match thank you very much for the bits and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bit and if you are on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership aside from that gang i hope you enjoyed the last five days we're pretty active on things a lot of fun a lot of fun and ending it with a comic book reading i can't think of anything better really a comic book from 1950 western thrills canadian edition right reprinted in red warrior number one because i came out in 1951 from what we can gather right gang i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your sunday what up chicho brooks hope you're doing well doing well doing well signing out actually and i'll probably announce the next set of live streams um probably towards the end of the week look for the next announcement for the streams to come out either maybe thursday maybe friday maybe even as late as saturday okay gang i have some stuff to do and uh, there's a couple of projects that i need to uh, get done uh, but we'll definitely set up uh, our next set of streams and the movies i believe will be on there as well i figured i was late just wanted to say hi still recovering from a bit too much scotch last night oh scotch hangover is not a good hangover brother this is not a good hangover the impurities in it the is is hard on the body man it's hard on the body gang i'll see you guys in the next live stream and the next video bye everyone